In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the basics of what are called geometric constructions. Now, in geometry, a construction is defined as the creation of a geometric figure using only a straight edge and compass. Now, the characteristics of a straight edge and compass is that there's no measuring devices. For a ruler, you have inches or centimeters or some sort of markings to tell you where you're at. A straight edge is just a straight edge. There's nothing to tell you where you're at. For a protractor, that will tell you angle measurements, but a compass doesn't have that. So we're going to begin here with recreating line segment AB from point C. Now in constructions, the way we do this is I take a compass, I set one edge of it at the end of A, I set it so that its length matches that of B. Now anything that I use this compass on will be that same length. So if I then take it, place it on C for one end, and mark out an arc on uh, from C out into the distance, any segment that I create that starts at C and ends on that line, on that arc, is going to have the same length. So this is our first construction of recreating the length of a line segment. For my second construction, I'm going to recreate an angle. So I have angle CAB, and then I start with ray or line segment DE. And what I'm going to do is take my compass, again orient it so that it starts at the hinge, or at the turning point of the angle I want to recreate. I mark an arc along that angle. Next, I take my compass, move it to my next starting location, in this case angle D, and mark the same arc. And this time I'm going to make it a little bit longer than what is required. Now, if I take my compass and set it on the original angle at the point where the arc intersected the angle on one side and then alter the second one, second side so that it matches the span across the angle of that arc, I can now take this entire compass, set it on my new location, like so, and now mark out that same length. Anything that I create, either a ray or a line segment, in this case I'm using a ray, that passes through that new point will recreate the original angle. So here, angle CAB is congruent to angle FDE. Next, we're going to learn to cut things in half. So if I start here with line segment AB, what I want to do is create a perpendicular line segment, or sorry, a perpendicular bisector. Characteristics of that perpendicular bisector is that it will go through the center of line segment AB. That's a bisector, just to cut in half, and it will be at right angles to line segment AB. So what I do is I start with a compass, I set it at one of the endpoints, and I make sure it's at least over half the length of the segment I'm trying to bisect. I move above, make a mark, as well as below the line segment that I want to bisect. Next, I take this and I place it at my second point of intersection, or my second endpoint. I bring it down, I arc above and below. And what I've done is I've started to create two circles. Characteristic of the circles is they're going to be the equal distances from the endpoints. So now, if I take my line segment tool, and I go from those two points of intersections of the arcs, that will 
cut my line segments A, B in half and be at right angles to it. Next, we're going to do the same idea for an angle. So how do I use just my straight edge and compass in order to bisect this angle? By the way, every time that I do create a line segment or array, that'd be the equivalent of pulling out some sort of straight edge, either a ruler ignoring the measurements or the edge of a book, the edge of calculate or something to create that that piece. So what I'm going to do again is start with my compass, place it at the hinge point of the angle, and create a decent length here. I'm going to arc and find the points of intersection for both sides or both rays that create my angle. Next, I'm going to take my compass and bring it out to that first point where the arc intersected and create a line segment piece in the middle or an arc in the middle. Next, go to the second one and do the same thing. Now, if I go through and create a line segment or array going from the hinge point A through the intersection of those two arcs, it will create an angle or a set of angles that bisect the original. So here, line or angle CAD is congruent to angle DAB. Therefore, I have bisected that angle. With these basic construction ideas, we're able to also do other things that we hadn't might not have thought of originally. For instance, I can add or subtract line segments together. Now, in adding line segments, I need to start with a set amount that is as close to infinite as I can create, and then figure out what am I going to do or what are the segments I need to recreate for that. So if I want to recreate a segment that is the sum of these two, C, D, and E, F, what I will do is on my line A, B, create those same pieces just as I recreated a line segment before. So I come up, mark to C, recreate the length out to D, bring it down onto my original, we'll even put it at point A, and make the marking. Next, come up to E and set my compass to be the same length as EF. Go to the location where line segment CD was recreated. And from there, add on the next line segment that I need. So I will have a line segment that goes from point to point. So if I want to create it even at another location, start that location, come down to A, extend all the way out to that second point of intersection, and make my marking. Now a line segment created from G to anywhere on that arc, H is the sum of CD plus EF. In order to do a subtraction of these line segments, what I would do, come out, again recreate EF, but this time, instead of adding on to what CD had been, I am going to take it and go the opposite direction. So now a line segment created using my compass to go from A to the ending of that retraction or that back pull. If I come out and place it on I, mark any line segment that I can create from I out to that arc will be the subtraction 
of CD minus EF. We can also do the same idea with angles. So what if I want to create an angle that is the subtraction of the two that are already shown? So I want to take angle A and subtract angle D. Well, what I will do is recreate angle A using my compass. So again, bring it out to the hinge point. Mark off a segment along that original angle A. Bring it down. Recreate that same arc here. Now bring it up and set out the distance between those two points of intersection and mark it again on my second uh, place where I'm recreating. Next I'm going to recreate angle D marking that arc and bringing it down, recreating that same arc, almost the exact same location as what I'd had before. Now come up and copy the distance between those two points of intersection on angle D. Bring it down, set it where I need, and copy the angle. Now, if I create an angle that runs from those two points of the arc intersection, so if I go from here to G, and then again from G out to that first or that second intersection point, then I will be able to recreate that angle, which is the subtraction of the other two. You can also do the same for adding and just tag it on to the end of what was the recreation of angle A. So this is simply the introduction of how to do constructions. Again, recreation or the creation of geometric figures using only a straight edge and compass. We will be learning many others as we move on through our study of geometry but all of them are going to be based on the simple principles here. Review this lesson if needed and be ready to ask questions and practice these because they really are items that you have to do hands-on.